Another day, another story. The social media trap. Jason had always been an average high school student. He spent most of his free time on social media, scrolling through endless feeds of memes, cat videos, and celebrity gossip. He never really thought much about the future, preferring to live in the moment and enjoy the instant gratification of likes and shares. But one day, something changed. Jason's best friend, who had always been a top student, was accepted into a prestigious university with a full scholarship. Jason realized that he didn't have any goals or plans for his own future, and he started to feel anxious and lost. One afternoon, Jason decided to take a break from social media and went for a walk in the park. As he strolled along the paths, he noticed a group of people practicing Tai Chi. He was intrigued and decided to watch. The movements were slow and graceful, and the people seemed so focused and calm. Jason approached one of the Tai Chi practitioners, an elderly woman named Mrs. Lee. She smiled at him and invited him to join the group. Jason felt a bit awkward at first, but soon he found himself enjoying the peacefulness of the practice. Mrs. Lee noticed his enthusiasm and started talking to him about the importance of self-improvement and learning. She told him about her own life journey how she had started as a poor village girl but had worked hard to educate herself and become a successful businesswoman. Jason was amazed by her determination and inspired by her words. He realized that he had been wasting his time on social media, while there was a whole world of knowledge and opportunities waiting for him. From that day on, Jason started to study harder and set goals for his future. He still enjoyed social media, but he learned to balance it with his studies and hobbies. He even started practicing Tai Chi regularly, and Mrs. Lee became his mentor and friend. Years later, Jason graduated from a top university with honors and landed a great job at a tech startup. He often thought back to the day when he had met Mrs. Lee, and how her words had changed his life. He knew that he would always be grateful for the lesson he had learned. That true happiness and success come from self-improvement and hard work, not from likes and shares on social media.